Today we're going to be talking a little bit about glue assist on a hardwood floor. A glue assist is any time that you use an adhesive to help supplement the mechanical fasteners in the installation process. Glue assist is particularly important any time you have a floor that's thin, wide, or is going into an environment that will experience swings in moisture from dry to wet. Moisture changes, extremes and swings, can cause movement in the floors that manifest in gaps, peaked edges, or a loose floor that squeaks or pops and makes other noises. Using a glue assist, as well as maintaining proper job site conditions, can go a long way towards preventing these problems and decreasing the amount of times you'll have to be called back to the house for expensive repairs, as well as increasing the number of happy customers and homeowners that you have. The first step that you're going to need to do is to pick the method of glue assist that you'll be using on your hardwood flooring installation. From there, you can pick the tools and materials needed to accomplish that installation. While there are a variety of different materials and adhesives that you can use, such as urethane adhesives or xylane adhesives, the important thing is that you pick an adhesive that's recommended for flooring use. You will want to carefully read all product guidelines and recommended uses. Do not use products that aren't recommended for flooring use, as they can become dry and brittle over time and break loose. It's always important to follow NWFA guidelines or the manufacturer's instructions. Let's get started looking at how to do a glue assist. First thing you want to do, as with any hardwood flooring installation, is make sure that your subfloor is clean, dry, flat, and sound. You can still have noises occurring because of movement between the plywood and the joists underneath, and a glue assist is not going to solve those problems. So it's good to take a moment and make sure that your subfloor is correct before starting. Typically in a nail down application like this, we would use a vapor retarder between the subfloor and the flooring material, something such as felt. With a glue assist, we want the glue to adhere the floor down to the subfloor, so we're not going to use that. If you're concerned about moisture coming up from your subfloor, you can always use a roll-on moisture barrier like Wackel PU280 or Bona R540. Now let's get started looking at the first method for a glue assist, the serpentine glue pattern. Using tubes of urethane, modified xylane, or other recommended wood flooring glue, apply an eighth inch or greater bead of glue in a serpentine pattern on the subfloor where the board will be nailed down or on the back of the board you are about to install. The serpentine pattern should have approximately 12 inches between the peaks of the adhesive. Follow the NWFA or manufacturer's recommended nailing schedule for wide plank floors. Trowel glue lines perpendicular to the flooring. Using a urethane, modified xylane, or other recommended wood flooring adhesive bucket and the correct trowel, Pull straight glue lines on the subfloor that are perpendicular to the flooring boards. Leave no more than a 12 inch gap between each section of troweled out adhesive. Follow NWFA or manufacturer's recommended nailing schedule for wide plank floors. Just to recap, a glue assist can help prevent a lot of common wood flooring problems that happen as a result of job site condition or installation. Remember to always follow NWFA guidelines or the manufacturer instructions on the products that you're using. We recommend using a glue assist on any nail down installation application, especially when the floor is wide, thin, or in an environment where you'll get swings in moisture. For more information about this, please visit our website.